Whoa, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I got this book sent to me the other day. I don't know by who, but whoever you are, I appreciate it. It's the uh, Arabs in Israel for beginners. But the thing that I think is trippy about it is it was discarded by a public library in New York. And it says that it's the... uh, A relentlessly fair to both Jews and Arabs. Huh. No wonder it got discarded. It wasn't, it wasn't towing the party line. Don't want kids reading that, do you? Guess not. It's like a, it's like a beginner's book. Um, Whoever sent this to me, I'm super stoked. I love these kind of books. I like the fact that it's been discarded from a public library. That says... That's the most valuable piece of information on that book. So they didn't figure it was worthwhile having in a library. Must 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 be some valuable information in here. But uh, that's not what this video is about. I got I got a request to do a uh, video about what a spiritual advisor is. And I kind of got into it a little bit on one of the live streams the other day, but I thought I would focus, focus my, focus, focus my attention on it specifically. So I've had, in the last couple years, I've had, I have a spiritual advisor presently and I had one for a while and, and he died. So what is a spiritual advisor? I think it's a, it's someone who's a, a sounding board about spiritual principles. Someone who has data and information to help you on your journey towards God, towards spirituality, source energy, the light, whatever it is for you. And it's not someone who's going to tell you what to do. Like it, that's not what a spiritual, it's a spiritual advisor. So, what the one thing that I've learned and the one thing that I've grown to understand is we don't need teachers to teach us to be enlightened. We need people that will help us remember that we are enlightened. Like by our very natural state is enlightened. We are already connected to God. It's only our choice, whether we choose to accept that connect connection or not. Everybody's connected to God, even the atheists, even the the sinners and those who have chosen not to be connected to God. That's the irony. And that's what free will is all about, right? Free will is your choice to live down here in these three dimensions and five senses and Make a go at it by yourself and thinking that that you have all the answers. And for those of us who know we don't have the answers, we look to uh we look to our relationship with spirituality, and for many of us that leads us to a god of our understanding, and um, it's a journey towards the light. And for many of us. We do it alone, and for many of us, we have spiritual advisors. And I would say that spiritual advisors are different than priests and gurus and cult leaders and all that kind of thing. A spiritual advisor is someone who who freely gives of their time and information to help you uncover what you already know to be the truth. Because most deep, if you're on, like, once you've decided to go on the journey of the spiritual quest, once you've decided that that you're going to focus your life's direction on getting closer to God, closer to the light, closer to the source, for me, that 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 definition is narrowed, and and. I have my own personal understanding. Like, I think that's the one thing I try to convey. And that's one thing that a spiritual advisor does. It's, it's, 
It's not their relationship with God or spirit or whatever that they're trying to get you to follow. They're trying to help you figure out your own personal relationship. And what most gurus and priests and prophets or whatever, they want you to believe their way. And for me, that's that's not going to work. I have to come to my own conclusions. I, I'm on my, it's a personal, for me, I'm not like, and I'm very public about it, you know. <coughs> I'm a Christian. I've, I've accepted Jesus Christ as my personal savior. And um, I move in that direction. I don't know what what works for other people. I'm not in that like, I know for me personally, I, there is no other way. But I also know that on my journey, I've explored other routes. I've hung out, I hung out with Hamed, my Muslim friend from Afghanistan for years and asked him all sorts of questions about the Quran. I hung out with my, my friend Jordan and asked him all sorts of questions about the Quran. I don't, I don't have a separation. I've hung out with Buddhists and asked them questions. I've, I've hung out with, I have a lot of Jewish friends. I have atheist friends. I have gay friends. I have transgender friends. And all of these people, I ask for information about how they're perceiving reality and what their relationship is spiritually with this reality. And some people don't have one. Some people have one. Some people are sat in their ways. Some people are trying to figure it out. It's very... The spectrum is is huge. There's, you know, there's as many different ways to perceive reality and spirituality and God as there are human beings on this planet. And for any one person to claim that any one way is right, I think is uh, is a is a grievous mistake. I know personally the direction I move into and. I believe it in all my heart. I have faith and total understanding. But that doesn't have anything to do with my spiritual advisor. You see, my spiritual advisor helps me reinforce my own understanding with my personal relationship with God. By asking me questions, by putting me in uncomfortable situations by challenging my perceptions and values and actions. See, a, a spiritual advisor isn't someone who's going to take it easy on you. It's someone who's going to ask tough questions and call you out on your BS, man. Because I don't need... If I live in an echo chamber, how am I ever going to progress? spiritually because I'm I'm a flawed human being. I I don't know what's going on. I have all sorts of invalid perceptions that are totally valid until I discover that they're not valid. And and that's what I, I work with my spiritual advisor. And sometimes it's just mundane questions about how to interact with the day at at, at hand. And other times it's super deep and super involved and you know there's a little bit of therapy going on in there. There's a little, there's there's friendship going on in there. There's there's give and take. <coughs> there's knowledge being passed along. So for me, it's an exploration of self. It's someone helping me to hold the mirror up to me. And, and and go, hey, the, do you see what I see? Because the, I think the hardest thing to do is to look yourself in the mirror and see unpleasant things and see unpleasant truths. So when you find this unpleasant, 
instead of sitting with it, I take that information to my spiritual advisor and I ask them how to unlock the secrets of that unpleasantness. You see, from what I understand is, is it's all about not having to repeat the pains of this experience, not reliving the mistakes over and over again. It's about going, this is what I've done. This is what, how it looks. This is what's going on. What's my part in it? How do I adjust my course to set myself free, those around me free? How do I become a better human being? And I would see, and so with that said, people are like, how do you find a spiritual advisor? And I think the, uh, I think sort of the short answer is when the student's ready, the teacher will arrive or appear. You know, when I was ready, my first spiritual advisor, Joe, showed up, helped me get sober, took me, altered the direction of my life, helped me understand myself, helped me understand my relationship with God. He wasn't a a Christian, though he believed in the Christ. He had his own perception of it all. You get what I'm saying is is I think that where people have, have put themselves in boxes of informational perception that doesn't allow them to gather information because they think that to gather information is to threaten their own relationship with God. There is nothing on this lower dimensional five senses, three dimensional world that is dangerous to my relationship with Jesus Christ. There's nobody or anything that that can take that away except my free will choice to leave that. But at this stage of the game, I'm I'm moving in my direction. And so as that relationship gathers steam, more people come up. So how does, how does my second spiritual, so my first spiritual advisor died and I was kind of on my own and I didn't think anything of it. And life got very complicated about a year ago and I happened to send an email to a friend of mine and that friend was like, call me immediately. And I did. And she's like, tell me what's going on in your life. And I was like, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, all right, this is what you do. Turns out, unbeknownst to me, that this human being is deeply involved with what's called shadow work. Uncovering my shadow and and delving into myself and self-examination. Turned out, happened to be like a therapist too at the same time. Like, these things I did not know, right? But this person evolved as a friend, as someone to talk to, as someone who helped me work through my own self and who has been an ally with my spiritual growth over the last nine months. And what that person's never done is told me that I'm wrong. They've told me I'm flawed, which is obvious, but they've never said, (coughs) you need to go do this. Like your, your understanding of God or spirituality is wrong. They've helped me strengthen my own understanding, my own spirituality and pointed out where my own human nature and my own personal flaws are interfering with that growing relationship of depth. And to me, that's what a spiritual advisor is. And it, and I don't think that it has to be anyone who's trained or part of anything. It, we don't know who these people, beings are because it it easily could be the gas station attendant in your dream 
it, for me, it's it's this woman that I I'm friends with. I've known since high school. Like we talk on the phone, and I we talk about what's going on and what's my role in it and how it looks and. Blah 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 blah. So there's no like credentials involved. It's a it's a it's a deeper understanding of the human experience in the sense that everybody in our life contains valuable information and data. But some people are there to help us unlock the mysteries of our own information and data. If that makes any sense. It's a kind of a complicated very simple idea. And and all I know is I said this it's kind of a jokingly thing is like it's like the Supreme Court justice said about ruling on the on the first amendment, you know, what is pornography and the the Supreme Court justice says, "I can't tell you what pornography is, but I know it when I see it." And I would say it's the same thing for a spiritual advisor is. I can't really tell you what it is, but I know one when I have one. You know what I mean? I'm not, there's no like forms to fill out or template to compare it to or picture or anything. It's just all of a sudden you have a relationship with another human being. And at some point you realize that this human being is your spiritual advisor and it wasn't something that you were seeking. It's just something that is. Does that make sense? And uh, <coughs> I think that's all I can do except confuse the idea even more at this point. Because it's kind of, it's deep, but it's simple. And you'll know when you'll have one. And if you want one, one will show up. That's the way it works. If you're ready... If the student's ready, the teacher will arrive. Anyway, this is The Illusion. Don't forget to uh, give me some Rogans up. Support the channel. Art and t-shirts and stickers and stuff. Links down below. Thank you for enjoying the dream. Welcome all the new uh, new members. If you've made it 17 minutes and 31 seconds into this video, dude. Stoked you're here.